And 36 opportunities came through Cardis, blocked with the agents, and they were busy, and 17 of them went unanswered. Went up, which is right. unacceptable. Which is, not, which is crazy. So but somehow we got to reframe their thought process. These aren't leads, they're just possibilities. And if you look at everything as a possibility, you're going to have a better energy when you answer the phone. Right. Because I've done it myself. Oh, and another phone call. Damn it. How can I help you? That's not the way to build a relationship. And, and then go, go like the bigger picture, right? A little holistic on it, too. You have no idea who people are, where they came from, what they want, what their story is at all. And they, if they wouldn't have dialed phone numbers on their phone and hit send, if they didn't have a need at some level. So who are we or any agent to ignore that or belittle what their needs are? They're no different than us and our needs when we call for somebody. So we got we just get so busy, we got to hit the pause button and step back, go neutral, and say, how can I help this person? Well, that's true. And and Mike taught me this. I didn't realize that when they call in or email in a lead and they give us their phone number, they have to give the phone number to register the lead. Right. So they want to be emailed, but we're phoning them. Then we get mad when they don't answer the phone. Right. They want to be connected in the medium, but which they connected with you. They were online. They want to be contacted. Them. They call if your you. response is good enough to warrant a response, then they'll respond to you. Right. But it's if like, you take the attitude, well, I called them, they never called me back. Well, did you email them? Did you text them? Did you send them a video email? Did you send them a, what's that new Gmail HQ thing we have? Yeah. Send them an email with a video of yourself. Send a text video. We just had a lunch meeting here at, at, at International Mall in Tampa. A perfect example for this there. If we just walk, if we walked into the Louis Vuitton store, right, not that we're gonna go buy it first, but let's say we, you're going to, you're gonna walk in and the salesperson comes up to you and says whatever they say to you. We don't even want a salesperson right now. No. You walk into any store right now, you can look at a new watch, someone's like, well, can I help you? You're gonna say, nope, I'm just what? Looking. Just looking, because you're not comfortable yet, but you're in the store, right? right? So they know you're there for a reason. They should pounce on you, collect you, take you, because they know that you're here to buy something, but they don't do that because they need to make sure that you're comfortable on your level. You could have gone online to look, but you're there. So because you just showed up, you're there a little bit more intently, but you gotta just sit back, relax, neutral, and then just read them. Right? And, and that's what these guys do at high-end stores, which is what we are at high-end store. Well, that's what we do. That's what we teach them to do. Right. But then they leave the bus from it, they don't engage again. Right. So we have more to teach you. So, the, yeah. Or step over nobody, because you never know what it leads to. Perfect example is Andy, right? She got a sign call on a $120,000 lead. Yep. Turned into how many sales? Oh, 800. 800 sales came from one phone call from a low-priced house that she probably wasn't extremely excited about hitting answer but she did and landed at hundreds and hundreds of transactions and millions of dollars of income. So step over nobody, talk to everybody and help everyone you can. And uh, that's just our job. That's why you're in this business. If it's not why you're in this business, get out of the business because we gotta just talk to people, have some fun with them. Look at everything as a possibility, not a pain in the ass. You never know. Is that really a possibility for what? Possibility for what? You never know. Possibility for a buyer, possibility for a seller, possibility for a girlfriend, possibility for, who knows? I mean, just. You'll attract more opportunities if you look at them as opportunities rather than being the ends. So, answer your phone. Talk to every single person you talk to, say you can help them. That's really the short two-minute Tuesday today. Step over no one. Yeah. Happy Tuesday.